I forgot this was the... everyone and welcome to our Kaizo Rewind series replay of Quickie World 2 by Valdeo. We are going to be getting everything started now. Uh, we have cleared this game before. Obviously, one level was done. How cool. Now let's get into the gameplay, baby. Woo! Skip up out of boop. Right. Get that timer started. After Mario mysteriously passed away, Luigi ventures into Quickie World in search of Yoshi, the last one to see him alive. All the maps are down in our database at work, and it's chaos. Wow, boo, that sucks. Happy birthday! Accidentally hit exit. That's always fun. So that, those first series of jumps are nice. I accidentally hit the X though. So hey, whatever. Oh, the one shot was alive. I know, man. I don't think I'll get any one shots in this entire hack, to be honest with you. I don't think I'll get any one shots in this entire hack. That's our first one down, guys. Happy birthday. Our first one's down. What up, Ballistic? How you doing? Thank you so much for being here for our Kaizo Rewind. Danny, thank you for lurking. I hope you've been well. Next up, we have the Shin. I wish I could remember these levels. I don't remember this level at all. I don't remember this level at all. The Shin. Like... You would think that I'd remember this. We played this with Flibbity Flam. We played this with the Ukanes. You would think. So obviously, you guys know, you've watched Kaizo enough at this point, we're trying to avoid all the poison shrooms. And I fucked up. <laughs> I couldn't remember if I was supposed to go fast or slow there. I couldn't remember if I was supposed to go fast or slow there. Okay. Easy hops. I don't remember what I ate yesterday, right? North Wolf, how you doing today? How you doing today, homie? Okay. There we go. GG's. Let's see how quick we can get this done, huh? Gauging by the, that slop handling, I'm gonna say you're ready for ultra sl that slop handling. I mean, I get that like, uh, I get that it was sloppy, Risto, but that was very hurtful for you to just come in my gameplay like that this morning. Oh, slope handling. Take five. Take five. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is the... 
So, when I first got to this level... That's so lame. When I first got to this level, I, uh... Like, the first time ever, I remember I got so nervous because I was like, I don't know how to make the bounces on the note blocks adjust. The dumbest thing in the world I could have ever said. It's like some of the easiest shit ever. <laughs> I have no idea how to do that. But for right now, I'm focusing on our Kaizo gameplay, and it's a series that I'm deeming Kaizo Rewind, uh, where we replay all of our favorite hacks, um, and I edit them, and we get them out on YouTube. So, Azure, thank you for the host, and that's another one down, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. It's another one down, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, Florida, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Bro, you make this look easy. Dude, I've, we've done this one a lot. <laughs> Next up, we've got Field of Dreams. Now this one was cool because of the art, I thought. I thought this one was really cool because of its art. Um, and the way things looked. It was like that, like, it reminds me of, like, neon signs. It reminds me of, like, neon signs and shit. So, okay. So, the secret is right there. You want to ride that down. Then, you've got some bullet hops coming up. The bullet hops are going to have some re-grabs right at the end. Nothing too crazy. For the most part, it's pretty... That's the re-grab portion, and there's the end right there. For the most part, it's pretty self-explanatory what you do on this half. And you make sure not to hold B on that last one. <laughs> go sorry about that yeah if you ever play kaizo chat quickie world 2 i definitely recommend this is butter War uh, this is uh buttermilk palace kp welcome in thank you for the raid oh, i fucked up i forgot played orcas by jordan yes lord i have uh, if you want to see the list of hacks I've completed, Florida, type in exclamation point Mario. That's a full list, 100% included. Uh, we just haven't added uh, Chi yet. Noise! Thank you for the host, Boomstick. That's another one down, folks. <laughs> I love you, Code Sim. I had to bust your balls because you came in busting my balls, dude. Alright. So now we're gonna beat this level the 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 regular way. Yo, Hakuna Mike Tata, thank you so much for the host. KP has been an absolute god on Halo. I bet, dude. KP's nasty at shooters. <laughs> KP's nasty at shooters. Yeah, I just had to let you know that I was really, really proud of that mostly harmless progress from you. <laughs> you fucker. Signal boosting, baby! Boost that signal, y'all know what it is. Ah, uh, I forgot what we were supposed to do there. <laughs> I forgot what we were supposed to do there. Quickie 2 is a phenomenal starter hack, though. If you have no... No Kaizo experience? This is... This is a great one. This is a great one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. UK's played The Unknown, and uh, I haven't played it yet, but uh, it is... It's on our Kaizo waiting room list. It's on our Kaizo waiting room list just because I enjoy Jordan as a uh, as a creator. I really liked Orcus. I liked the music choices, the MF Doom in there. Uh, I thought it was pretty dope. Jordan even stopped in the fucking chat for a second, so that was really cool when we were playing Orcus. Oh, that's right. We jump and then ride it. I thought we rode it all the way down. I forgot about the munchers. <laughs> okay. So, from the H, it's a lot of moving platforms, like that's the second half of this hack, oh, well, the second half of this particular stage is just 
quick jumps from falling platforms. And then the finish there, we were at the finish. Those three that we jumped in a row, that is actually the final. Uh, there is a list of games that we've beaten. You just type in exclamation point games. You just type in exclamation point games, Levity, and you can look at all the games we've played. Those are games I've beaten on stream, not games that I've beaten. That list would be longer, but that's games that we played on stream together. GG's, everybody. Roll the Bones is the name of this one. There we go. <clears throat> I feel better now that I've read the title. <clears throat> Why isn't Diddy Kong Racing on that list yet? <laughs> Because you guys uh, actually hit that sub goal code synth, and I haven't decided to play it yet. But uh, it's coming. What's crazy is I actually, uh, the first time we got here, I'm pretty sure I like two shot this section. And then when we were racing Flibbity Flam, we one shot this section. Then we were racing U Canes, it, it looked like this. We couldn't seem to do anything. another one down let's go baby let's go baby castle complete world two we're on the way the bat cave oh weird that this is called the bat cave Aside from his taste. Aside from his taste, he's a wonderful human being. And that's another one down. That's another one down, folks. Let's go. Thank you for the GG's. To the limit. Let's see what this is all about. To the limit. supposed to spin jump there we we just one shot that H that was nice <laughs> but I keep forgetting to spin jump take it to the limit one more time <laughs> I see you love Secret up there, you canes. Mr. Speedrun. Mr. Speedrun Quickie 2. Is that a uh Yeah, but you have to midair. Another one down. So yeah. Oh, fuck all that. I ain't trying to midair to get that. <laughs> what is it? Just a portrait? Next up, we've got Jurassic Jungle. Oh. 
Next up, we've got Jurassic Jungle. The one New York for real. How are we doing today, baby? Thank you so much for tuning in and coming to hang with us. I always appreciate y'all for being here. That's a pretty H. Levels like this are probably one of my favorite mechanics. I would have to agree with you, Code Synth. I would have to agree with you, Code Synth. It 100% it is is like some of the most fun Mario to do when you. I like. I, I agree with you. The Chris G spot. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I love this music. I love this fucking music. I love this music so much, dude. that the don't I jump on the dolphin right there and go in that isn't that the whole thing it, don't we go in that tunnel isn't that the secret where's I thought that was the secret I guess I'm wrong let's go up some more oh uh, that's right we got is that the secret, you canes? No, that's the secret up there. I see it, okay. Okay, I see it now. I couldn't remember where the secret was, guys. All right, so our first thing we're trying to do here is, is, is get up and... Oh, dude, fun is everything. If a hack's not fun, dude, I quit playing it. I don't give a fuck if it's, if people are like, couldn't play it because it was hard, huh? Absolutely not. Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, it had nothing to do with that. I could beat my head against the wall and beat any hack, I'm sure, but if the shit's not fun, dude, can't play it. Can't play it. Lev, thank you for lurking. Enjoy the walk. Enjoy the walk, homie. Okay, I was supposed to quick jump up there, I guess. Little little things that you forget about some of the later stages. I remember those early stages pretty well. For what it's worth, but... There are a couple things that, like, I'm like, oh, wait, this is... Okay, yeah, see? There we go, boom. Hey, good morning, Madden. How you doing? Vapor Palace. Good morning, Madden. How you doing? Oh, I like this one. I like this one a lot. You got to keep the star the entire time in this one. But if you slow down at all, you'll lose the star. And I fucked up on that jump. Doing well, a little tired, but I can't complain. Oh man, I'm feeling great today. We actually got rest last night. <laughs> I fell asleep on the couch for like three hours, woke up, came directly upstairs and went to bed. And let me just tell you, brother, that was some of the best fucking rest I've had. I was telling you canes earlier, like in about four days, man. That's been the best rest I've had all, like all, like in the past four days. I love it. Too many boops. We're not making it. Oh yeah, we are! And then I ran off the edge. <laughs> I remember the first time we got here, this level was extremely fucking cool. 
Well, you know, Boo, there was a thing, there was a study I read a while back. It's funny that you say four hours on the dot. There's a study I read a while back that said if you divide your eight hours of sleep up into two four-hour segments, like if you were to have woken up in four hours, did some stuff, and then go back to sleep for four hours, like apparently that's just as okay for you. Like that's just as good for you. I don't know how if that's been debunked since then, but that was that was a couple years back. I remember. Oh my god, that was a couple years back. I saw that. Um, they were talking about how like as like. You know, because some people are optimized after six hours of sleep. But they were saying the most ideal way to rest your body is in four-hour increments. How do y'all feel about that? I don't know if that's true, false, but that's what they were saying back then. Like I said, that was a couple years ago. Probably 2020, uh, 2019, somewhere in there. But something said something about two four-hour blocks of sleep split is better for you than eight straight hours. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know the science behind it, but that's what it said back then. Let's do this. Thanks, man. I've read that too. I mean, polyphasic sleep is very effective, but it's tough for most people to fit into their schedule. I don't know. So that's what that's called, Code Synth? Again, man, like I, thank you for the GGs. All right, now we gotta beat this level correctly. The Chris G spot, here we come, baby. And that's how you one-shot a level, guys. That is how you one-shot a level. The Chris G spot is done for. That was nice. That was nice. RB's clock tower. Man, we almost one-shotted this one. We almost one-shotted that one, guys. That was the end. <laughs> that was the end right past all those red coins. We were so close. That would have been dope, man. And now we can't, I can't calm down. You are killing it. Thanks, New York. I appreciate that, man. I really wish we could have gotten it. GG's. That's another one down, dude. <clears throat> we are knocking these out, baby. Quickie 2 is a lot of fun. Quickie 2 is a lot of fun, guys. World 3, here we come. World 3, here we come. Soaring Saguaro. Saguaro? Oh, uh, this is a uh, sky tree. Uh, gimmick for Kaizo. Sky trees, you know? I get it, like, they're definitely, they make you have to rush and be a little faster and, and try different things or whatever, but truly. Truly just not that big of a fan. Uh, we could have got the secret had we one-shot that, but we did not. That other vine stays in play and makes other things a little easier to do, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, we lost the vine, so it doesn't matter.
and then we jumped too, uh, too early. But that was the end right there. You just got a shell jump and then... I'm pretty sure it's an orb. Really, we didn't get it in time. Damn. And climb up with it. One, two... Code, Elden Ring will do that, man. I mean, I, I beat it damn near four times before I went back to playing anything else. I beat it damn near four times before I went back to playing anything else. That's another one. That's another one down, y'all. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it rolling. Oh, like the ones you see in cartoons, boo? Hot potato. I hate this level. You gotta throw bombs. This one always catches me. I'll take the one shot H. I'll take the one shot H. I will take that one shot H, man. <laughs> Those big tall cacti with arm. We got that one so quick. Level title. Next up, we have Elusive Numbers. I need to try Kaizo again. Uh, Baloo J, you can always reach out to me, man. I'll give you a little, a little starter list if you want, like, a list. Yeah, he is a wholesome pirate. Not as grandiose as Grand Pooh Bear in the sense that I don't have any crazy things popping on screen. And then Barb has like the press start intro. I do not, and I'm fine with that. Um, so I'm just gonna keep it simple like that. Uh, maybe one day I'll do intros, but like for right now, that's kind of where I have it. What if I dislike and subscribe? You can do that too, Code Synth. I'm fine with it, whatever. Live your life. Pokey Desert is up next. Who doesn't enjoy some good Pokey action? Well, of course, I hate the model for Jason Todd. I don't know who the fuck did that, but I think it looks so stupid. I think he looks like a dumbass. Go watch it real quick, Boomstick, and come back and chat with us. Go watch it real quick, Boomstick, and come back and chat with us, for real. It's not that long. I mean, shit, we can even watch it together, like, you know what I mean? Like, go watch that shit, bro. Let's fucking go. That's another one down, folks. Blocks on the rocks. They did Jason dirty. Yeah, his character model looks atrocious, dude. Like, I don't see how you could think that that character model looks good. My opinion, obviously. You can think whatever you want. But to me, I'm like, no fucking way, dude. They made my boy look fucking awful, dude. They make him, they, he looks like a clown. He looks like an upside down triangle clown, dude. Nah, you know what he looks like? He looks like the old school Justice League cartoon characters, how they were drawn with the wide ass shoulder top going into the tri-
Nah, I can't buy that, bro. Jason Todd looks like a clown in that one. They did him dirty. Like, I was legit upset with the Jason Todd shit. I just did not find that his character model looked worth a fuck at all. Very good, guys. That's another one down, baby. <clears throat> I get it. I, You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the one that had that opinion and said that. Like, that's what I just read Strangers on the Internet saying. shot the H, baby. We one shot at the H in the castle. Let's go. I'm saying his character model in that shit looks like shit, bro. I'm saying, like, his character model does not look good. I gotta read the rest of your statement, though. I did not fully read what you just said. What's wrong with him graphically? But he looks fine graphically. Do I like the character design? Not really, but he's built like a brute tank of the crew. They all have roles to play, so the decision to make them look like that, I can understand. No, I'm complaining about how they his model looks. Like, you said he looks like a brute. Like, I think he looks stupid like that. Like, the way he looks, the shape of his body looks ignorant to me. Right, special world. Special world time. Iggy Coop out here throwing fire. Can't stop, won't stop. Special world. stay on this topic if I want to. The character model looks like ass. I hate it. I think it looks dumb. Fuck the character model. They shouldn't have done it that way. The character model is so stupid. I fucking hate the character model. What a dumb idea it was to make the character model look that way. I will continue to talk about the character model until I'm done talking about the character model. Mega Scottage. That was a fun level and rant. I, I had to get a little rant for YouTube. I thought that'd be funny. The verbal abuse reminds me of my childhood. Fuck yeah.
finally. And continued living his life, dude. Met some girl, some other girl, and started fucking hanging out with her. Motherfucker said, I was tired of my old life. There we go. Suffering Ruins. So this is Suffering Part 2. So you guys saw me do Quickie World 1. This is the, uh, the continuation of Suffering. But things have changed. There's no saw for us to fring. There's no saw for us to fring. Yeah, this is the easier version for sure, though I've already died more times than I did on Suffering. <laughs> Though I've literally already died more times than I did on Suffering 1. Andy? I mean, it's definitely the southern part of the state. Guess he's spreading truth. That's where all the sketchy shit happens. That's where all the sketchy shit happens when people think of the South. Like, that's where that shit happens. If you go down to the Gulf Coast of Mississippi, shit like that's not happening, dude. They're super progressive down there versus everywhere else in the state. And I would, I would honestly say that, like, Jay Kanoy and probably Putrick could agree with me on that. The Gulf Coast is the most progressive part of that entire state. Yeah. That's all right, man. It's one of those, it's no, I'm about it. I'm about that. Is that okay, Curious? I apologize. Thank you for calling me out. Cause you're right, I did that with Texas. And if I wouldn't, if I wouldn't allow you guys to correct me or call me out on some bullshit, then this wouldn't be too fun of a conversation. So I do apologize to you, my friend. That was on me. You're absolutely right. I did do the same fucking thing with Texas and that's not fair. Hear this, YouTube. Texas is okay. <laughs> My boy got his whip back with them stickers. Thank you so much, Happy. Have a wonderful day. What a way to wrap up this. How to demonetize your YouTube video by playing old Trey. Yeah, right? It's complete. You guys completely ruined my YouTube video. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. We're throwing this up on fucking YouTube, man. If they can't tell that we're having a good time with chat, then... And that's how I feel about it, baby. We live our life and we do our thing. Everybody say hey to YouTube right now, chat. Hey, YouTube. Hey! Levity, those are great things. Business and gravy are delicious. So are catfish. They are shrimp. Hey, hey YouTube, I'm frauds. Fuck YouTube. Hola, YouTube. Oh, God. Hi, YouTube. Damn, we probably did, huh? Oh, fucking well. We need a fuck you. <laughs> Not sure what royal reds are. Royal red? Those are. They <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, but between between the uh, between the uh, <laughs> Arkham Knights rant, between the Arkham Knights rant and the N rant and Rip on Texas, I'm pretty sure this video is tanked as far as we're considered. I would love to see what would happen. Um, <laughs>